Hello and welcome, Pixels25 Games is here and today I want to show you how I create my seamless tomb hand painted textures for our game Cortex. I will show you all necessary steps in Photoshop so you can create your own texture for a game. Before we start I want to honor our patrons for support us and our work. Thank you to Simon Sineda, David Heinzel, Erich Gangl, Melina Brunner, Robert Hartl and Reinhard Bauer. If you want to support 25 games or this YouTube channel as well, check out our Patreon page. Let's clarify the definition first. What is actually a seamless texture? A texture defines a certain space of information which can be projected to our 3D mesh by creating a UV layout and wrap it. However, this texture space is limited and it could get very unhandy if you want to create tall 3D objects. It is as well not very performant for game engines to work only with unique textures because you need a lot of pixels to keep the texture quality high. But what happens if I move a UV island out of this space? If you leave the texture information on the right side, then the UV system is repeating your texture and starts again from the left edge. This repeating system is arranged like a tile system and this is what we wanna, a tile level texture. A seamless texture is a digital image which can be repeated, in all directions. It is like it's never ending. The end of the left edge is perfectly fitting to the end of the right edge. The same is with the top and the bottom edge. Care about special repeating patterns. They can make your texture bad and everyone immediately recognize the seamless texture pattern. This here is a good example. And this here is a bad example. Now I will show you how to create a seamless tune texture in Photoshop which can be placed for interior walls in our game level. Ideally, texture size should be made with the powers of 2 on the sides. These sizes are as follows. 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, 1024 or 2048 pixels and so on. The textures do not have to be squares, for example, width can be different from height, but for this seamless texture we work with equal sides. I will work with a 1K texture this time, because the walls should get an interesting pattern. I want to place some stylistic stones in it, which should have a good pixel resolution as well. It is always good to know what you want to create. I searched for several references of a medieval wall. I need to care about my general color pool for the level. So far I created some older tile level textures with a similar color mood. As well the use of color for stones. I made a decision in the past and I need to work with this color pool now as well. Create a basic pattern for your texture. Keep in mind that it will be seamless. Care about the pattern placement on the edges. The basic shape for stones and the base color is done. Now it is time to make the edges tile level, but it is hard to figure out where the brush stroke is going when we draw to the right or the left or the top or the bottom. It is easier to bring the edges together so that we see the seam exactly. You know that we created a 1K texture? Let's bring the borders to the middle by moving them 512 pixels to the middle. It should be always the half of the canvas. Ok. What do we need to do this? Go to Filter, Other and select Offset. Enter your pixel values for the offset and press OK. Maybe you don't see the result immediately, but your edges moved to the middle. I will show you this by adding these helping lines. 
Now I can easily adjust the color and the shape of the pattern for the edges. Just for info, I don't need to offset the basic wall color because it is a single color layer. I like the result so far. It is time for some details. I select a new stone color value and add a new layer of pattern. When you finish your work for the pattern, then I usually offset the edges again because I need to fix edges for the new color pattern as well. If you select both layers and want to select the offset filter, then it is not working. You have to do this separately. Before we continue I want to check my current state in Unity so that I see the result in my game scene. In Unity I created a very rough blocking for my game level and made a quick light setup for an interior room. Sadly this level is so old that it is built with an early version of the Pro Builder tool in Unity. It is not possible to adjust the UVs there anymore. However, I prepared a new plane for the scene and I want to create a material for it and add our texture. Alright, the texture is way too small. I just need to adjust the UVs to get a better feeling of our current result. It is necessary to place the texture with a correct size so that you see if the texture resolution is alright or if it is too blurry. If so, you need to rise the resolution or make your stone pattern bigger. It is as well very important to check if you have distinctive elements in your pattern. Your texture need to work also if it is repeating very often. So you checked your texture in Unity and maybe everything is ok, but I am not happy with the texture resolution of my pattern. So I will resize the pattern now and scale the stone shapes. While scaling it I need to care about blurry edges of the shapes and sharpen them again. When everything is done, I am able to continue with some details. Usually I don't do this, but in this case I add an outer glow to the basic stone shape to give them some depth. After that I try to find a brush to give the wall a sandy structure. It should look roughly plastered between the stones. If you like your color, shapes, texture resolution pattern and so on, then it is time for another filter. Duplicate all your layers and merge them to one single layer by pressing Ctrl plus E. Next go to Filter, Stylize and select Find Edges. I just set the layer style to multiply and reduce the opacity to get a better fitting result. The tile level texture is pretty finished now. 
Let's check it in Unity again. Before I rendered the scene just to get an overall feeling for the lightning. But let's update the texture now. I usually don't have the Photoshop files in my Unity project. So I open up all two windows and drag and drop the texture from my work folder to the project folder so that it will be replaced. Replacing is important so that I don't lose any connections in Unity. If you click to your Unity window now, the software will update all doings in your project. Okay, I see there those lines and I know that they were created by adding the Find Edges filter in Photoshop. So I switch back to Photoshop and remove those lines in the mentioned layer. Update your texture again. And check if the resolution and color is fitting a last time. Alright, we did it! Texture is nicely repeating and we don't have any seams. This texture is just an example of a hand painted tileable texture. And you only have to use the filter offset. I have created many of those textures for our game Cortex with it. They are truly an enrichment for level design. Don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to our channel, support us on Patreon and subscribe to our newsletter. Cheers!